I need to have these dotted around training routes so you don't have to carry water and uh, yeah I'm a firm believer in drinking water only on training runs um, by heading out in the morning with no food in your tummy and drinking only water you really do boost your fat burning metabolism and even the skinniest of us carry around a lot of body fat and if you teach your body to burn fat you are carrying more fuel than you need for any run or event regardless of how far it is the problem for a lot of people is that they can't access that store of fuel so I do these long low intensity training runs in a fasted state so last time I ate was breakfast oh sorry I do these long training runs in a fasted state so last time I ate was supper last night which is at about 7 p.m. it's probably now close to uh, 7 a.m. might even be after 7 and and then drink only water and uh, make sure I'm hydrated and sometimes I'll carry electrolytes with me that I can just pop in my mouth and swallow but definitely no carbs and try and teach my body to burn fat if you go the kind of carb loading route and try and run on carbs and carb load and do all those things you can carry about a maximum of morning. Yeah, you can carry or your liver mainly you can store about a maximum of 2000 kilocalories of fuel that you can start any given uh, run or race or whatever you're doing with on board and you'll also be carrying a lot of water with that carb weight because for every gram of glycogen that you store you also will have with it three grams of water so morning so yeah you if you carb load you tend to feel quite bloated and heavy which obviously you burn off but you're still carrying that water with you and it's only 2,000 kilocalories now on a comrades day um, I burn, I've calculated it manually to my body weight and I've also seen the readings on my watches over a few comrades where it estimates and I'll burn about 12,000 kilocalories on that day um, which is obviously a lot more than the 2,000 so if you're going to carbo load and try and run on carbs somebody like me would have to try and take on in the region of 10,000 kilocalories in a day when it's quite difficult to eat uh, if we turn that around and go the fat metabolism route I'm very lean naturally I'm almost always below 10% body fat uh, genetic lack I suppose and I also have quite an extensive sporting background that's kind of conditioned my body over a number of years I'm actually a paddler not a runner um, but yeah even even at my leanest I'll be carrying about 40,000 kilocalories of fat on board on any given day if not more 
and by teaching my body to access that fat I have found that you can keep a far more kind of predictable energy level uh, if you avoid the gastric discomfort that can be caused if you get your eating strategy wrong with carbs and uh, yeah, I just find it you also, you also don't get the effects of what is called reactive hypoglycemia or hyper and hypoglycemia which is basically sparking your blood sugar and then it crashing back down so yeah I just find fat a far better fuel source see lots of guys are training don't think that guy's a comrade runner but he's along for the day anyway yeah so it's worth thinking about uh, boosting your fat metabolism and you don't even really have to go the, the low carb diet route even just by training in a fasted state you will be achieving something it does take a bit of adapting if you are used to burning carbs you will feel a bit weird uh, and a bit energy depleted but your body does adapt and once you do it is well worth it and I can highly recommend it just do some research and uh, don't be discouraged if you do like two or three runs and you feel very flat all your body's telling you is that it's used to burning carbs and uh, being forced to find something else to keep you going with it doesn't take very long to get it right I can I can now run all day on a on a long slow run no problem at all don't feel flat or bad uh, however if I am racing at high intensity that is when I will use some carbs um, kind of acts like a turbo I guess is a good analogy gives you that extra rev um, but that's for high intensity days um, I do that for example if I'm doing canoe races which are generally a bit shorter in duration and a lot higher in intensity than what I run um, uh, I use that as a nutrition strategy but the, the fat burning ability is always there even when you even when you provide your body with the carbs you can still keep that slow burning diesel engine chugging away in the background and then when you need to turn the turbo on the, the carb burning fuel sources kick in and your heart rate can spark and you can go faster so it's always a benefit for every kind of endurance athlete to have good fat metabolism besides all the health benefits which people like Tim Noakes will tell you about but I won't get into that I just thought I'd chat about some nutritional stuff to add to what I was chatting about while I was doing that long run late last week um, this is one of my meals that I have while running so it starts out like that um, we've got comrade root tester on Saturday so I asked my, my wife to make us a stew for supper so this is what we ate for dinner it is deliberately made to be quite fatty you can see there is potato in there it's sweet potato um, so not completely carb free um, but it is cooked kind of in a, in a way that it will be reasonably fatty and then what I do with that is then over here um, take that put it in a container doctor it up um, as I said uh, when I recorded on Sunday I like to burn fat I'm a, I, I, I do 
eat a relatively low carb diet, not completely carb free, we're not completely fussy. Um, and I have no health reason to be super low carb. So I put the stew in there with some extra ingredients um, to make it a little bit more fatty even. So it gets a little bit of, bit of coconut oil um, and a little bit of butter. Um, and a couple of other things that I put in there. I can also doctor it up with some electrolytes. So quite a bit of salt and I do add some other products that I've got that I do think work. Um, and then I will generally, on, on Comrades, I will use it to fat load and also electrolyte load. So I'll have a little bit the day before um, just steadily throughout the day just to add some kilojoules into my diet and fat load and electrolyte load and then I have it as my pre-race drink so I will take it with me in a bottle and be standing on the start line in the batch with it in a bottle and then I like to have a I like to have something in my tummy when I'm running so I will have it about 15 minutes before the start. You will see a lot of dietitians tell people not to eat fatty food before the start because it sits in your stomach. That is exactly why I choose to eat the fatty food is because it does sit there and it stays there and, it, and you don't feel hungry. Um, I find that I need that. I don't like to feel hungry. Um, I always felt when I was a, a carb dominant person that I, that I did battle with hunger uh, and I also battled with sustaining myself so I find that fueling on fat is far more consistent uh, in terms of an energy source and I don't battle with hunger and I can train fasted and run up to you know, I can definitely run a marathon I could run a slow 50k I'm pretty sure um, in a fasted state but on this weekend, we are trying to replicate comrades' conditions. So I'm practicing having my soup in the mornings. And I'll do some other things down the route as well to replicate comrades. Wearing my race kit as far as possible. Can't wear my club vest. So I have to wear another vest. But everything else will be the same as it will be on comrades' day. Mm -hmm.